Hey guys, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio. I'm here with the monthly challenge for my creative year. The challenge this month, the prompt is the word list. Now, I am a chronic list maker, but I've kind of stopped doing that except for my groceries because I tend to lose the papers. Um, the dog has actually snatched them off the side table and licked the paper to death. <laughs> So this is my version of how I do lists. Now my first one started a while ago when I bought this Traveler's Journal from Michaels. Um, I really had no experience with Traveler's anything and had watched other people's videos and was very curious about these. Went into Michaels, found this, and fell in love with this idea of long, skinny um, books that weren't, you know, massive, huge, which really intimidates me and it intimidates me. So I got this and I bought the insert um, and then I made, uh, I, don't, I can't remember what they call this. Anyway, so this goes behind anything that's wet, might be wet and seep through, but I leave it in here because it, it specifically fits the Traveler's Journal. This is made, let me say this, this is made from the um, clear cutting boards that are too, two to a pack that you can buy at Dollar Tree for a dollar. And then when I get them home, I take my paper cutter. Yes, I use the paper cutter on them and it works. You might have to go twice, but it does work. Um, and then I cut them down to the size that I need for a specific um, booklet. And then I take my corner rounder, round off the corners and I'm good to go. And I can make a whole lot of these out of one of the sheets, but you get two, so it's even better. All right, so I started making lists because I thought, you know, I really needed to keep up with the ideas. I'm no spring chicken. I can't remember stuff anymore. And this was the best way to do it. So I did this as, I decorated this. This is my doodling, and then I cut out, um, I don't know, some kind of stamp I have. Anyway, so what I did was is put in here people that I needed to follow, places I needed to go. This This label says resources, so my resources were listed in here. Then this one was an, a, another thing for resources, where to find certain things. This one was people to follow, people that I was interested in, and where to find them. Because sometimes you go to YouTube and you look for hours and hours and you, you forget where it was you were and you wanted to go back and watch something and you forgot to put it on the watch later list. I decided if I don't write it down, not happening. So then I took lined paper and glued it on top of this other stuff. I don't know what I was thinking. Anyway, let's see. And this one is for subjects for books, for mini books. So I took some post-it notes, wrote down notes real quick because I was someplace else separated from the book. I wrote them down in post-it notes, then stuck the post-it notes in here. And again, this is just a list of kinds of things that I'm interested in for ideas for mini books. Then this one, for some reason, I thought in my scrambled up brain that if I wrote down projects that were in process, that <laughs> they weren't really unfinished projects. They were projects in use or process. <laughs> so here's a list of some of the unfinished stuff I had at the time I made this. <laughs> well, you know, rationalizing comes in many forms. <laughs> Types of books to make. Um, I wrote down different kinds of books. I wrote down where I found the idea so I could remember to go back there to look for it again. I used, now this paper here came with the booklet that I bought. So it bleeds. I mean, it goes through everything. Then this one is swatches. And the reason I did swatches is I used to carry this in my purse. And every time I go to Michael's, I would whip it out and I would look at what kind of washi tape I own. And I put samples in here so that I wouldn't duplicate. And I have duplicated stuff. Evidently, I'm very firm in my taste. Dots, dots. Chevron, chevron type. You know, I, I'm a creature of habit, evidently. And that's embarrassing, I think. <laughs> Christmas. New Year's. I don't know how Halloween got in here. Um, I think these are blues and purples, and these are miscellaneous browns, beiges, and then there's shiny things. 
Then this one is more shiny stuff, beige, gold, Halloween, Easter, black. I think this one is for happy stuff, writing, greens, more greens, beiges. So in order to keep from buying too much washi tape, I put a sample in here. Now, if I use, if I use the end of the roll, I mean, if I use the roll, I come in here and match it up, and then I pull this off so it's gone. Because that way, if I want to buy something else, it's not a duplicate. If I keep this in here, I'll think I have this at home, and it'll be empty. One way to outsmart myself when I'm not thinking. All right, so then I went through, and I don't know why I did this. I did the Prima uh, watercolors, took watercolor paper, cut them in squares. It's not like... You know, I have a lot of watercolor. I don't know why I did this. Maybe I thought it was a good idea at the time. So I have four pages of watercolor samples from the Prima sets. And like I said, the paper's not the best. This is my, uh, is this my computer paper? No, this is the paper. Yep, no, well, I don't know. Anyway, paper's not the greatest quality. See, it goes through. Then I did the Koi watercolor brushes. I guess this was because I was trying to match something. Delusions paint. I have long since gotten rid of the Delusions paint. And then somebody said in a post, Oh, look, Delroni acrylic inks are on sale for half price at Hobby Lobby. I broke my neck getting there and buying them, came home and swatched them. And then for some reason I thought I felt compelled to go to Amazon to look for all the other colors. So there's my list <laughs> from Amazon of every color I saw for sale. <laughs> I can't explain it. It's just funny to me. All right. And then the last one here is just um, taking notes for stuff and writing down more things. I don't know why. I, I just don't use this that much anymore. But I use it enough that I, and I like it enough that I'm not going to get rid of it. I may rehab this into something else eventually. All right, so there's that one that had actual list in it. Now, I'm not really a lister lister, but the closest I can come to a list other than that thing is my calendar because I make a list of my obligations in here every month when I've got to film something, what the talk has got to be, who else is filming on one day so that if I pick a day, it's not the same day as someone else's. Yes, you can do this on Google calendars, but I'm old school. I have to have the book in my hand. I've got to be able to see it because what if I'm sitting in the living room and decide that I want to do a video on something? I can't, I, I don't want to get up and run in here and boot up the computer when I can just hold this in my hand, run in here and pick this up real quick and open the page and look. And this is just much easier to me than Google calendars, although I do have Google calendars with the schedule on it, but I don't always remember to use that. This I use. Whoops. And this is one of those rubber bands from, um, oh, son of a gun. I don't know if it's from Delusions, from Diane Reevely, or from Dina Wakely's stuff. Anyway, these rubber bands are fabulous. All right, so... Another way of making list is doing it this way. So this is actually called swatching. But for me, this is as close as I get a list to what I have. Recently, over the last couple months, someone had told me that uh, Signo made fine line pens. So I broke my neck getting to Amazon and ordering myself some fine line pens, which I have never used in colors before. So... It, in order to remind myself what colors, what pen does, what outcome of color, I took a just a random piece of off-cut cardstock, folded accordion style, then I scribbled in each block and put the color on there that I'm doing. And yes, this one is actually a beige. It looks like it's a blank square, but it's not. There is color on it. And then I had one extra one, so I did yellow. I did the dark, and then I did the, you know, the bright yellow. The back side are blues, gray, and green. So if I forget, all I have to do is look at this, and it reminds me. I keep it folded up, tucked inside here, so it's there when I need it. All right, so other examples are... Uh, this is super watercolor pencils. I don't know where I got these from. 
So, cut up some off cuts, uh, cut them down for even further than what they already were. Swatched my watercolor pencils, which I don't use enough of, but now that I know this is in there, I think I will use them more often because now I see what color it's going to turn out to be. I have nine of these lovely pencil cases. All right, this is DeWitt's, which obviously I don't have enough of because the card's not full. <laughs> All right, so there's that. Ink Tense watercolors. There you go. And then I was on a roll. I was like really going through these. I was so excited about doing this. I took this, which is really full, and I wet the, I did the, I measured everything. And I put the numbers in here in advance of getting it wet with the Micron pen to prepare it. I scribbled on those, made sure the paper was wet, scribbled on it. And, and I'm like, why are these not working? I don't understand. I went back with the watercolor, uh, the water brush and tried to spread them out. Well, these watercolors really suck because they're not doing anything. Can you read that label? See, and that's what you get for making a, uh, a video at 4.30 in the morning without enough of this stuff. All right, so that's about it for me, the list. I still need to do my Dina Wakely crayons. I st uh, wait, here, I guess I did. I, let me show you two more that I did. All right, so these I purchased at a scrapbook um, show. And I went crazy over them. I thought they were the coolest pens ever. They were skinny and glittery, and the glitter didn't come off on your hands. They were great. These are from Kaiser Craft, and I think they're a company. I don't know if Hobby Lobby owns them, but you can buy these at Hobby Lobby. This was $9.99, and the 24-pen set is $19.99, so use a coupon. But they have the coolest shape to them. They're very skinny. Wait, let me, put, let me get them out. <laughs> get it out here. They're very thin. They fit in your hand nicely. Love these things. I don't use glittery stuff a lot, but when I want to, I like these. So again, I went into my scrap white paper drawer, pulled out one of these, and then just scribbled the colors all over this so I'd know. They're basically the scribbles. I know it looks unorganized, but the scribbles are in the same um, order as the pens. I just tuck it in here and then close this up and I've got it good to go. These were gifted to me by Cindy Utter and I didn't know where they came from and I think she said she couldn't remember where she got them from. I did some research and found out these came from Walmart and I love them. These are triangle shaped pens. They fit in your hand nicely. They work but they do tend to bleed through computer paper. So again, random cardstock out of my excess white paper drawer and just scribbled the colors on here. I wrote down here the name of what it is on the outside and where they were purchased because I might forget. Pretty cool, huh? So you just lay the paper in there and then you close them up and you're good to go. Let me see, do I have anything in this one? I don't know if I swatch what's in here. No, I didn't. <laughs> like I said, I have nine of these to do and I've done one, two, three, four. So I have five more to finish. And then all my Dina Wakeleys. So this was just um, a quick little overview of my version of lists that work for me. Yes, they're basically swatches, but for me, this is as good as it gets because, like I said, when I make a list, I lose the paper or something happens to it and I never find it again. And it's crazy. I mean, I've left my list in, in this, the grocery store. I left my list in the grocery store. It's sticking out of some produce. I must have been, I must have had the list in one hand, was grabbing with something, couldn't get it, put the list down, grabbed what I was getting, and then forgot the stinking list. Of course, that cost me extra money at the grocery store. <laughs> all right, so um, I hope you guys can relate to all this silliness. I just wanted to show you what kinds of things that I do when I sort of make a list, swatches for my stuff. All right, this is Vicki Brown from Messy Table Studio on behalf of My Creative Year Facebook group. 
if you use, um, if you do anything that's inspired from my creative year, please use hashtag my creative year so we can find you. Please like, share, and subscribe and support the other teachers for their free content. Thanks, everybody. See you next month. Bye-bye.